I suppose one ought to enjoy oneself in Parliament when one leads both parties as I do. But I'm miserable. Poor, broken-hearted fool that I am. Oh, Phyllis. Phyllis! Yes? Phyllis. <laughs> uh, but I suppose I should say, my lady, I've not yet been informed which title uh, your ladyship has pleased to select. I, I had it quite decided. You see, I had no mother to advise me. No, I have. Yes, a young mother. Not very. A couple of centuries or so. Oh, she wears well. <laughs> she does. She's a fairy. I beg your pardon, what? Oh, I've no longer any reason to conceal the fact. She's a fairy. A fairy? Well, but that would account for a good many things. Then I suppose you're a fairy? I'm half a fairy. Which half? <laughs> the other half, down to the west hip. Dear me, there's nothing to show it. Don't do that. But why didn't you tell me this before? I thought you would take a dislike to me. But as it's all off, you may as well know the truth. I'm only half a mortal. But I'd rather have half a mortal I do love than a half a dozen I don't. Oh, I think not. Go to your half dozen. It's only two, and I hate them. Please forgive me. <laughs> I don't think I ought to. Besides, all sorts of difficulties will arise. You know, my grandmother looks quite as young as my mother, and so do all my aunts. I quite understand. Whenever I see you kissing a very young lady, I shall know it's an elderly relative. You will? <laughs> <laughs> then, Phyllis, I think we shall be very happy. We won't wait long. No, we might change our minds. We'll get married first. And change our minds afterwards. That's the usual course. <laughs> <laughs> Carry here we marry you and I Of the feeling I inspire you May tire by and by Four kids of flowing coffers Press their offers, that is why I'm sure we should not tarry Here we marry you and I Even we cannot tarry 